What's up everybody, it's Julian here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the secret acid formula for perfect modern 303s. This is the secrets that everybody is using right now to get these 303s to kind of have a different feel to them than the old school stuff. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know. To go along this video, I'm going to be using a MIDI from my pack, Definitive Acid 303s Volume 2. It's right here. So you can find that at the top of the description. Make sure to grab that. It's got a lot of great MIDI files and sort of acid lines that you can work with. Links on top of the description and let's get started. All right, so I've got this MIDI file here. The first thing you want to notice is that the notes are not touching each other, right? So like these aren't perfect sixteenths, but they are these like, you can see like some of them are a little bit longer, some are a little bit shorter, and that creates a lot of the groove. Right, so let's bring this up to speed a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead right off the bat and just give it a saw wave. Bring the release down a little. And we're gonna set this voices to one, glide, maybe turn that up a little. There we go. Now, here's where the secrets start to really come in. We're gonna switch this to a bandpass filter, set it like that. Get rid of the frequency to key thing. We're going to give it a little envelope. And we're going to start to shape the envelope. And the first, the real secret here that everybody's using is this attack. See, a lot of times people hear the 303 and think it needs to be punchy. Right? Let's go ahead and give this a little... But actually, a little bit of attack on here, and then you can kind of like shape it so it's, you know, still very fast. See, it's kind of giving it that sound that you can't really describe, but like you just don't get that. Unless you, you know, set it like that. Right? See, there you go. And you can even play with this key tracking if you want. Alright, so that's the secret, is the attack right there. It's also on this hard shaper, right? And you can use other distortions, maybe we bring like an amp. But see, it's all about kind of trying to create that modern 303. You can also make this like a bit shorter too, like even just go in here and make the notes a little bit tighter. You can see the note length when I'm playing with it really does change the sound. So there we are. That is the secret modern 303 formula. Everybody's wanting to know how to get these sounds. I think the attack goes a long way. I think the bandpass filter goes a long way. And I think just, you know, working with like these more modern distortions and really pushing it goes a long way. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said in the beginning, you can grab Definitive Acid 303s right at the top of the description. I will have it right there. Thanks for the support, everybody. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.